If we go into that Veritas piece, maybe it's the perfect example to illustrate your point. Maybe something that couldn't have even been done a couple of years ago because maybe they weren't prepared or maybe, but we saw a video come out where Project Veritas, you know, got that Pfizer executive to confess some things that they're doing behind the scenes. That video temporarily escaped via Twitter, but then very quickly, as you mentioned on our last episode, all mentions of the executive himself was wiped off something known as the Wayback Machine, which is a way of chronicling everything that's ever been written on the internet. Something that I thought was like the Bible, it couldn't be unwritten or rewritten, but you were saying they were able to wipe that and also start to wipe all other references around that. Um, maybe you can describe a little bit more because I think it's a poignant example of exactly what you're talking about, manipulating information. So the, uh, and then of course for the uh, viewers here uh, in the UK that may not be familiar with the latest in that saga, um, the board of directors of Project Veritas is trying to run James O'Keefe, the director who virtually is Project Veritas embodied, uh, trying to run him out of the company. Uh, so that's that's just the latest in in this saga. Uh, For doing that, uh, no, who knows? Uh, there's there is various uh, soft excuses about uh, employee harassment or other claims, things that are very difficult to verify. Um, so kind of a cloud of suspicion right. has been uh, built around him, none of which can, is really has anything particularly tangible. Right. Uh, An and information warfare tool is what that is. Right. Uh, and, and amazingly, it's coming from his own board of directors. So there's a lesson in that. Anybody who's an entrepreneur, select your board of directors very carefully. <laughs> um, I think, how many times do we have to learn that lesson? No, uh, especially in nonprofits, people seem to forget that. So the story, uh, I'm, I'm uh, just back from London uh, and, and I get a call, uh, would you, uh, Dr. Malone, would you review this video that we have embargoed uh, um, from Project Veritas? And uh, so I click on the link, view the video, and I'm scheduled for a uh, Zoom hit like as soon as I can finish watching the video. Um, so I'm really coming hot off of that and they capture my reactions to it and then they cut that in at the back end and throughout the video where I'm basically expressing shock and awe at, at the, the tone of the uh, young executive, more as uh, in in the content of what he's saying, which is largely forward looking. He's disclosing in that particular cut, and it turns out they have more footage uh, that they subsequently released. In that particular cut, he talks about uh, Pfizer in, in his position is that of a worldwide director level. So it's pretty high. He's like three down from uh, the CEO, uh, and a worldwide director of mRNA strategies, I think is the short version of his title. Um, he is, it comes out that he was in a urology residency about two years in, and he dropped out of his residency and then got this position. He has no prior experience in immunology, vaccinology, uh, molecular virology, molecular biology, he's just slotted into this position, uh, which is kind of fascinating in and of itself. And I assert that this represents an ESG hire, uh, most likely, that's my hypothesis, mm -hmm. is he was put in that position to meet certain corporate criteria for hiring of uh, different categories, uh, protected categories. In any case, so the gentleman uh, speaks about gain of function research and, and denies that Pfizer is performing, and he's quite wry about it, uh, denies that Pfizer is performing gain of function research rather that they're performing directed evolution. Now in a subsequent essay, I took the time to look up what the, govern the US government's definition is of gain of function research, and it is pretty much precisely what he is, this gentleman is asserting Pfizer is performing, and it's just a euphemism to rename it uh, directed evolution, which really has a different meaning than the way he's using it. Uh, but uh, so this comes out, and uh, the focus in that particular segment and the um, the outrage is around uh, Pfizer. This senior Pfizer executive essentially acknowledging that Pfizer is engineering viruses, uh, um, and 
uh, there's a, a prior story uh, in Stat News, which is a Boston-based uh, outlet that focuses mostly on the pharmaceutical industry, among other things, and health in, and in general, uh, but very much a Boston-based, uh, uh, really kind of an advocacy outlet for uh, pharma. And uh, so they had done a puff piece on Pfizer and the Pearl River, New York facilities in which they explicitly described exactly what the gentleman was saying was going on and, uh, and talked about their collaborator at University of Texas uh, and uh, a, a Chinese gentleman that was actually performing this directed evolution or gain of function research on their behalf, etc. So everything that, it, in retrospect, everything the gentleman said was really already covered in another puff piece that Stat News had put out, but nobody had paid any attention to. And then when it came out with, with kind of the outrageous uh, spin of, of this gentleman's very casual kind of narcissistic approach to this, uh, under, the, under the rubric of Project Veritas, suddenly there's a bunch of outrage over it. And uh, that triggers a cascade of events that are a, um, an amazing case study in the ability of a major corporation to control information. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public and he's gonna be talking about how this upcoming recession is gonna be fast, it's gonna be bloody, it's gonna be nasty. But at the same time, he's gonna show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim Watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's gonna happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. Hey, do you want to profit from crypto? Then join my DeFi Academy. The Crypto DeFi Academy will help you create generational wealth. But don't take my word for it. Listen to my students. When I first got into crypto, I remember thinking to myself, I need to learn more. Brian Rose, learning crypto, learning DeFi, gotta do it. I am so grateful that I jumped in and did this. I had to break through some limiting beliefs that I can do this, that I can afford this, that I can be in this. It challenges um, the things that are deeply rooted within us. Joining DeFi Academy has been one of the best decisions I have made on my blockchain journey. This course was a life changer, a game changer, a huge eye opener coming from knowing practically nothing at the speed of the learning over the over four weeks was just fantastic. The information you provided in this class was invaluable. I feel far more confident in my next steps. You took complex concepts and made them easier to understand. What's different than so many other ones is it just doesn't tell you what to do. It uh, actually makes you do it. This is for people who are serious about becoming traders. This is the way it should be done. I realized from this learning experience again that it is not about what you learn, but about who you learn it from. The energy was insane. I've, I've never experienced such incredible energy on a live call. Brian Rose, you, you are a legend, my friend. It's the only thing in the market where you can get all information and learn everything what you need to know. Everything is so clear and so well done and I am um, just forever grateful for this program. It made me feel so much more confident about crypto than I did before. I did not anticipate how passionate I was going to become about it. It's course has been like a big learning experience for me, not just in the crypto space, but just uh, an overall uh, balance of life. What I've learned is, you know, how to take ownership, you know, of my life in a way that um, I really, I really hadn't before. Yeah, you can't put a price on that, really. I would recommend it to anybody top-notch. Excellence does not come cheap. 
You know, so if you want excellence, you gotta pay for it, but it's so worth it. Pull the trigger. That's what this course is about. You're not gonna regret it, really. It's amazing. Thank you, Brian and team. So what are you waiting for? Crypto is happening now. Click the link below, submit your application, and let me mentor you on how to create generational wealth and build the decentralized financial infrastructure of the future.